Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the proper ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, we may be, hope you're staying safe and healthy. Now, with everything Digital Extremes has planned for this year in terms of new war, cross-play, cross-save, let's not forget, we're nearing year nine. Year nine. And with that usually comes the dex alerts. Now, for those of you new players, you'll be able to get everything dex related with, when these alerts pop up. But, what do I mean by dex? So, if we go to Xcap, you have the dex skin, which looks mighty solid. And people have been colour scheming him to cosplay a sport. And you have the Dex helmet. And you also have, do I have it? Uh, Dex Sabaris, where are you at? There you are. Let's go to its original color scheme. There we go. And it looks mighty beautiful. And it's not a bad lever action rifle, if I'm honest. You get Dex Furious. No. Where be you yet? There you are. They look pretty solid too. And they're not a bad secondary. I do need to re mod mine though. And you get the Dex Dacra, which is a dual Dacra variant. And oh my god, I've absolutely butchered it, I think. No, no, we have the original one there. There we go. Looking pretty nice. And if we go to where my boy at? Because I do believe Rhino Prime also got <coughs> a Dex skin in the last set of Dex alerts. And it looks awesome. But its colour scheme is a bit different from the original Dex setup and the Dex armour that you get the Dex shoulder guards, Dex knee plates, and the Dex Nikali Sindana, and the Dex chest guard. But still, all in all, looks solid as fuck. Where am I going with this? Well, Rhino and Excalibur, two of the OG Warframes, and two that you see in like their first ever trailer for the game's existence. But over the years, it feels like there's a couple out there that have been how we say neglected in terms of getting dex rewards and also uh, like PlayStation exclusives you've got the renowned pack with obsidian skins uh, on Xbox it's Jade I'm not sure what it's called on Nintendo and do PC even get one I can't remember I wonder if you'll be able to trade those with crossplay that'll be interesting to find out I won't be selling them though Anywho, so, you've got your exclusives for whatever you play on, so PlayStation is Obsidian, and then you've got your deck sets. Now Excalibur, if we go back to him quickly, or if we go to Umbra, because I have butchered his fashion frame. I gave him the Excalibur look. The OG Excalibur look, which honestly looks pretty clean, I'm not going to lie. You've got the Obsidian Azura collection, but let's toggle off Prime Details, and you can see what that looks like. It's not a bad set. And you've got the Prisma for Excalibur, but you've also got Obsidian, which is... I know, maybe 
if the moving interior was a bit more fluid and not square based I would have enjoyed it or not as blocky but for now it's staying obsidian and you've got the obsidian Asura armor collection the obsidian ephemera signed Danners you've got the obsidian Azura signed Danner you've got the Cryoptera, the Samia, the Corvus and there were a bunch of others that I probably haven't picked up from Renown Packs. Even Ivara got an Obsidian skin. Uh, where are we at? No. Total Prime details. And you th Oh yeah, also this is what Excal looks like. Umbred and Dexed. He ain't looking too shabby, let's be honest. So Wayne, all this rambling, where are you going with it? Well, as I said, some have been neglected. Excalibur has his obsidian and he has his decks. Rhino finally got his decks, but he has not been given his obsidian. And if he has, I just missed it. So, Mr. Rhino, if you would be so kind. Now I did try on the blade of the lotus skin because I think that's where it looks the best. And for those of you wondering, because I have been trying to copy the obsidian colour palette, and I did do a guide for this ages ago along with the umbra colour palette, and people in a couple of previous videos have been like, why doesn't he show the colour scheme? I have. But for all of you, primary is classic saturated here. Secondary is PS4, and it's here. Tertiary is Tenno, and it's here. Emissive number one is once again classic saturated, right here. Second emissive, I believe, PS4, and it's just, well, it's any black that you can get. Energy, Gamma, up here, and the second one is once again Classic Saturated there. So there you happy now, I've done the Obsidian Fashion Frame colour scheme to the best of my abilities based on Obsidian Azura. I wouldn't do it on the other Obsidian skin and I'm sure as hell not doing it on whatever they call this, because this is too white, too bright, and too loud to be obsidian. Let's be honest, that is just, eh. <clears throat> so, you know, maybe Digital Extremes, can you give Rhino his obsidian skin, please? In original color, that would be nice. But on top of that, there would, there is, a couple of other OGs that have been completely neglected. One being my boy Loki. See I started off first playing with Excalibur and then I got a Loki and quickly became a Loki mate. He is my boy. Here he is in his original beautiful form. You should see how I've butchered the prime with this color variant. <laughs> it is ugly as hell. See, I did Loki Knave skin with the Obsidian fashion frame. He hasn't had an Obsidian skin, not once. Obsidian Azura for everyone, please. But the OGs deserve it. And I put the Jotunheim skin on and then I did the Dex colour palette. To the best of my knowledge, I didn't use Rhino's Dex colour palette, I used Excalibur's. So, for primary, we are in Agony. <laughs> I'm in Agony. And then secondary is in Smoke and it's there. 
tertiary. I think this one is smoke or is this PS4? Yeah, it's PS4, but still, black is black. A fearsome appearance, Operator. You will strike terror in your enemies. Emissive is Corpus, and it's this shade of red. Once again, black is black. Energy. Wait a minute, I did that wrong. Colour saturated there. And the other energy colour is... Tenno. There. And that, once again, is the best to my abilities of getting an, a Dex fashion frame colour palette out there. And it looks pretty solid. It works pretty well. Goes well with the weapons as well. Not gonna lie. But yeah, Loki needs a deck skin as a reward and an obsidian skin and a jade skin and whatever Nintendo have. And we have two others. We have Where be Thunder God Vault. Now I only have Vault Prime and I only have Mag Prime. I got rid of my Vault and my Mag. They went to the helmet. Plus it saves buying more Warframe slots. Oh no, that's on the City Lassera. What am I doing? So here's the OG Vault look. Also, DE, please, can we do something about this? Because look, I can copy the Warframe colours. So I can get a distinct look. But it won't show up on the color palette, even though I have the Tenno color palette. Can you fix that so we know exactly what colors to use if we just want to, you know, switch up what other characters look like, please? Thank you. Anyway, I digress. Here's what Vault would look like if you were Obsidian. Not too shabby. And here's what it would look like with Excalibur's Dex colour scheme. Wait a minute, did I do that wrong? I think I may have. Let's, let me go back to Loki, because I only just did the Vault one. I think I may have screwed up. Oh yeah, since we're going to be looking at Loki, where's my where's Invisiblest? There he is. Because this got butchered hard. <laughs> yes! Loki Prime in original Loki colours. It looks revolting. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, the Incubus skin with Obsidian. Yeah, I missed the black. But yeah, Loki Kadama skin. Oh. So yeah, there's a black. Sorry, uh, Vault. Let's just fix you up real quick. Or maybe I'm just getting it wrong all over the place. I have no clue. There we go. Now that looks nice. But yeah, needs a Dex. Immediately. And an Obsidian. You know, you got to show respect to the OGs. And then there's Mag, who, along with Vault, I only just put this all together just before I started recording. So that's why I'm talking all over the place. Let's change that up. So you've got your original Mag look. You've got your Obsidian look. Or your Obsidian Azura look, I should say. And you've got your Dex look. Imagine what their actual armor sets would look like, rather than just color scheme in it all. <sighs> but, yeah. And yeah, another thing. Like I said, some other frames have had their... Obsidians and some weapons have had the obsidian look. If 
the Skia Jetty, you can use the Obsidian Nakana skin. The Dex Dacro got an Obsidian skin. The Dex Furious got an Obsidian skin. The Dex Abaris did not get an Obsidian skin. Come on, DE. <laughs> so, hopefully, in future of Renown packs, Mag, Vault, and Loki get their just rewards for an Obsidian makeover. And hopefully, they can add more to the Dex alerts on the next anniversary, and they can all three get Dex skins. Because they've been around for a while. They're still pretty solid frames to use, and they just deserve it. Or maybe I'm just asking for too much. Who knows? <sighs> and give the Dex of Barris a bloody obsidian skin. But anyway, with that all being said, I hope you kept track of what color palette, what the color schemes were, and stop asking. <laughs> Oh, that being said... <laughs>